I want to introduce you to my online acceleration program that I'm offering. It, this is for you if you, first of all, if you don't have a website already. Second of all, if you do have a website, is it making money for you right now? Chances are it is more like an online brochure, just a placeholder that is not making you money. And this is where I come in and this is where what happens over time when the web was new, people didn't know exactly how to monetize things, okay? Now, things have happened so fast and technology has progressed to the point where there are proven ways to make money automatically, robotically, letting your website do the work for you. And it can qualify your leads for you. It can attract business for you if it's done right. Okay, so you don't want your website to just be a brochure. Your website is more like a house. Your house should be inviting. And if it is inviting, it's going to have doors so people can come in. Your doors are your social media and your branding. You don't want it to be like a prison that keeps people out. And trust me, people have websites that no one wants to spend time on and that shut people out just subconsciously. So avoid that, okay? We're going to, um, number one, this website is gonna make you money. It has to convert. And it's going to do that by capturing emails and taking payments. No, first, in order to do that, it has to attract customers. It has to be attractive. And we're, we're going to use psychology to do that. The 25 cognitive biases, when, when you know what they are, you'll notice that effective design takes this psychology into account and that's what makes it more effective including things like reward and punishment this is the most powerful thing is you need to be able to reward people you're you're going to encourage people to do business with you if they have a sense of reward or if they have a sense of punishment if they don't you could say like FOMO if you're missing out if they don't Liking and disliking tendency. No matter how good your product or service is, if someone doesn't like you, they're not going to buy from you. And on the other hand, even if, you know, if your service or product is not that great, but if they like you, they're, going, they're more likely to buy from you than someone that they don't know. Doubt, avoid, doubt avoidance tendency. You don't want to confuse people. You need to increase certainty. Okay, and that's where trust comes in. Number one, the number one problem that businesses have, especially if they are selling intangible things, is how do you communicate the high value that you offer and the difficult problem that you solve that a person might want to try to do themselves because they can just Google, Google the information Go on YouTube, get a t tutorial, and, and think that they will know everything and they'll be able to do it, when in the reality, you're actually going to save them time and money because you're an expert. But if they don't know that, if, the, if they think it's easy, they're not going to do business with you, they're just going to make things more complicated for themselves, and you need to be able to communicate that. And you're going to do that by things like reciprocation. Uh, Lead magnet is like a, f a fisherman who uses bait to catch the fish. This is, this can be in all kinds of different forms, but ideally you want it to do a couple things. You want it to encourage a person to interact with you and you're going to do that by giving them something. There, most people usually want to give something in return. 
and that lowers the barriers so that you're more likely to do business with them number two it's going to indoctrinate them in your world it could be in the form of a, a free report that tells them about the business the state of the industry what to expect when they're like if they're hiring an architect what they're what to expect if they've never done it before you can also ask them automatically you can ask them have you what was your last experience like when you hired someone like me before and what did you expect and what do you expect to happen that can all be done on uh, just automatically on your website before you even talk to them you can qualify them you also need to build social proof because what has happened over time is that things like the Better Business Bureau are not as important anymore. They're not as, not as relevant as they used to be when people are more likely to go to your Instagram and see how many followers, followers you have. And if you don't have a lot of followers, they're not going to they're going to think something's wrong. So we need to take care of your social media because that is how people find you and that's how your message gets out. It's free advertising. So you need to take advantage of it. Your website needs to be relatable and congruent. Number one, relatability. Unless you're Apple, it's not enough to just show your logo or just like show a product if you're at that level then great but if you're not chances are you need to be relatable um, you need to if you can show before and after pictures show faces show your picture do a video at the top above the fold of your website uh, the you don't have to have a fancy logo but it does need to be clean and consistent it can be text uh, a logo type just good typography at the very least. The, also, the technical things that we're going to take care of is it's going to be fast, it's going to be mobile friendly, and copywriting alone is an investment that will set you back 20000 So you can try and write all the copy for yourself that you will hopefully speak a language that resonates with your ideal customer. That's very hard to do, and I don't recommend trying to just do that yourself. So I'm gonna take care of the copywriting for you too. All the images, do they need to be Photoshopped? Uh, there are a lot of technical things. The email marketing, can you do all the email marketing? Do you know how to do that? If you do, great. If not, I can help you to do automatic drip campaigns and the uh, make sure your navigation, technical thing, make sure your navigation makes sense. Uh, make sure there's a logical flow, a logical workflow. So for example, your um, your who, what, why, and how needs to all be very clear, and there needs to be a logic to it so people understand and they're coming to it. So, so how you do what you do is very important, and if it, it, if people can't see a, a logical explanation of how you do it, they're going to get confused. If you um, it helps to have a FAQ, a frequently asked question, so to explain your process. And as people get more in depth in your site, you need to allow people to get deeper and deeper into your site before they even before you even talk to them in person and, and spend your time and energy meeting with them before you even know if they're qualified, you can take care of a lot of this with your website. So that's why I'm offering my online acceleration. And if that's something you're interested in, let's roll.